Hey guys, what's up? I am here in LA. I literally just got into my Airbnb. It's super freaking cute. It's like a high rise uh, little spot that I found. And I was just talking to the owner and he was telling me about how this is the number one top rated place to stay in in LA, which I was like, I didn't even know that until you just told me so, bomb. There's so many like little gadgets and random things in this place, it's like super cool. Um, so I'm so excited. And the bed, y'all, the bed has massagers, okay? Yes, the bed actually like has <laughs> vibration and movement and stuff, it's so crazy, so, so funny. But yeah, um, it's super nice, let me show you guys what it's looking like. Um, yeah, it's super cute. Let's go upstairs. You guys can see that. Just super cute. It's like the, the ceilings are so high and I'm so hot. I'm like wearing this crew because it was what, 30 degrees when I left Portland this morning and it's like 80 degrees in LA. So I'm like, I was struggling between like, okay, should I bring a jacket? Should I not bring a jacket? But I know if I don't bring a jacket, I'm gonna be freezing by the time I go back home. <laughs> so I brought like a little like camo um, jacket that I always steal from Mark. But anyway, this is the room though. Super cute. Um, this is the bathroom. Really nice, there's the shower and whatnot. Uh, yeah, and then y'all up here, this is a screen. So you, it comes all the way down. He showed me how to do all this stuff. He comes all the way down and you can, act, he has a projector and you can actually like play movies and stuff on there. But I was like, this is so freaking dope. Like, look at that y'all. What? What? Insane. But anyway, so you guys know, like, when I travel, I got to be in a spot that I like, that I feel is cute, and I, I want to enjoy my time in, because a lot of times when I come to LA, I am going from meeting to meeting to events, or just working, like, working, so I want to make sure where I'm staying at is, you know, nice and cozy and, and something that I feel comfortable in or whatever. So yeah, and Airbnb is always better than hotel in my opinion because you get a kitchen, you get you know somebody who is going to give you a little bit of information about the area and um, just, it feels better being you know in your own space. I think at a hotel, like, you know, when you're, I'm gonna be here from, today's Monday, I'm gonna be here till Thursday. So I don't wanna eat out every meal till Thursday. So I already went to Target and grabbed some stuff. Speaking of, I had frozen stuff. I just remembered I bought frozen stuff at Target and it's been sitting out for the last, I don't know what, 30 minutes or something. But yeah, so I just got some essentials. I guess I'll show y'all what I bought to snack on. Some of my favorite little popcorn. This white cheddar, simple, or not simple, smart food. I like the regular one better, but I'm trying to do better in life, so yeah. I got these breakfast bowls. They're so good if you guys haven't tried these. This is the Chipotle and Poblano pepper one. It's basically like tortilla, egg, potato, pepper. It's good. And then um, Huevos Rancheros one as well. It's super good. And it's they're both vegetarian, so. I'm still on my pescatarian flow slash vegetarian flow, which has been doing me really good lately. And I got these. Um, I showed you guys this on Snapchat. Um, maybe psh, I haven't used Snapchat in I don't know how long. So this was probably what, maybe four or five months ago. But this is like two or three dollars at the store. They are zucchini um, pasta, but it's in like a little marinara sauce. You, you doctor that joint up with some garlic and, and, and some little seasoning, it is good, okay? It's really, really good. So, I got that. I'm gonna throw this stuff in here while I'm thinking about it. I also got some of this broccoli and cheese soup from Oprah's line. I don't know how good it is. Um, I haven't heard anybody talk about it, but I love broccoli and cheese soup. It's one of my... 
one of my really, really huge loves because I love cheese and broccoli. Anything with cheese and broccoli, I love. So, yeah. Then I got some fresh berries, some strawberries, blackberries and stuff. And then I also got some mango because I like to snack at night and so i try to make sure i have fresh fruit around even though i probably eat a little bit too much fruit for all the sugar but it's better than eating chips or cookies so i'm trying to you know the lesser of two evils i also got some of this um coconut milk creamer from what is this coffee mate this is just a sweet cream one he has a coffee maker here so i just bought that in case he didn't have anything in the fridge which he doesn't so that works that's the other thing I, I like about um, Airbnb sometimes they'll have like extra food and stuff in there so you can like use the seasonings and like you know random olive oil things that you like don't think about when you you're traveling but you want to cook something really fast um, I also got a couple travel size things so I got this um, shave cream um, I got this coconut milk conditioner and shampoo I actually have never tried this I know I'm so late. I'm so, 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 so late. This was like the first line that Organics even came out with, but I, I've never used this. So I got the shampoo and conditioner because I'm gonna reuse my, I'm gonna redo my hair before the event tonight. Oh, speaking of, I'm going to a John Frieda and Tanache event tonight. So I gotta redo my hair. Um, so yeah, I bought these two to try out so I could test it out see how I like it but I've just I've never used it so um, yeah and then I think that's it where I didn't get that much footage of last night because it was actually a really small venue it was super intimate and there wasn't that much space honestly um, plus I was like catching up with um, Alyssa Jalisa Missy e. Lynn and Symphony so we were kind of like having a little girl time just chatting and whatnot so um, so yeah um, check out Missy's vlogmas though she's doing vlogmas this year just FYI she vlogged a little bit of last night too if you want to see more of, of the event from last night but it is about 8 30 in the morning I am um, getting dressed for um, the day I ha am going to interview for a uh, documentary that is um, put, being put together by Andrea Lewis if you guys remember the black girl from Degrassi um, that's the most relevant I guess um, connection I can make a lot of y'all know who Andrea is though so I've been a huge fan of her for years and so um, she's putting a documentary together about I'm guessing it's like natural hair and the movement and like this life um, so um, I'm doing that with her today we are headed to do stuff I still don't kind of know what we're doing but but it's Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Hey, guys. <laughs> We're trying to find out where this little spot is to do this interview situation. So we're in North Hollywood. So I wanted to chat with y'all about something really fast. Well, probably not really fast because y'all know I like to talk. So um, I just I was thinking about this the other day because I just started watching She's Gotta Have It on Netflix. And... I also watched Insecure, right? And 
I absolutely love Insecure. I met Issa and she's amazing. And I've been following her journey since Awkward Black Girl Days. And yeah, so amazing content, you know, projecting and portraying black women in these different ways and and showing our multifacetedness <laughs> as women. But one thing that I think we got to think about and something I, I want to start a conversation with you guys about is like the comparison between she's got to have it and insecure. And I was thinking about it because whenever I've talked to people about she's got to have it, everyone's first kind of reaction is to automatically compare it to insecure, right? And I don't know the ins and outs of like if there it has been any kind of like stories or anything about like the two different shows or the people behind the shows if there's something going on with them. I don't know any of that. I'm just going off of this as a viewer. And I was thinking about it the other day and I was like, you know what? First off, like let's be happy and excited about the fact that there are two shows that are currently airing with two strong black females as the prototype prototype is that the word Pro uh protagonist is it protagonist the the, the main character <laughs> i don't i don't know my my verbiage or terminology right anyway so having you know a black woman be the central character of the show and the main character and Obviously, when you only have one or two um, options, obviously you're gonna compare the two. But the only reason why we're even comparing She's Gotta Have It and Insecure is because there's literally nothing else like it out. Like the fact that there's only one show that we, that we, we can look at like, oh, Insecure, because it's a black woman starring in it as the main character and showing her in all these different facets right and now we have she's gotta have it which also takes on the approach of of exploring the black woman's psyche and the thing is when i i think about that i'm like you know what how many shows are there where there is a white woman as the main character there's tons how many shows are there that a white man is the main character. There are tons. So it's like, I feel like it's unfortunate that we only have these two shows right now to look at because it almost makes it up for debate on how much you compare the two. Because it's like, if there were more shows like that, we wouldn't even have to compare. We would not compare them because it would be normal to see black women as the central character of shows. Like we wouldn't sit here and just because of the main character is black and a female, we automatically come. Sorry, y'all, I got sidetracked because my Postmates is on his way up. <laughs> but we, we, we just compare so much when the two shows are not the same. Just because they both have a black woman starring in it doesn't mean that they have to be exactly the same or that one is better than the other. And I mean, everyone's going to have their preference, right? Everyone's going to prefer one or the other or whatever. But I just don't like how I've seen people or and heard people comparing them so much to say like, Insecure is better because it's this and this and this about the black woman or she's got to have it is better I think they're both amazing shows and I wish that we could just appreciate them for what they are instead of like micro obsessing over how One is better than the other or whatever because we only have those two to work with if that makes sense Does that make sense? But since we're talking about um, Postmates this is what I got. I ordered from this place called M Cafe. And they've got like a lot of vegetarian and vegan options and stuff. So I just got sweet potato fries. Um, this is a quote unquote lazy sushi bowl. It has um, a little bit of seaweed. It has some tuna poke in it, a little bit of salmon and brown sushi rice in there. So that's that. And then I also got a green tea from them too of negotiating morning, it seems as though they have I not set the table for this been talking to diplomats routine, throughout the city is last coffee, night alarm breakfast, in all this quarters is a, to a one of the European um as well that the, they have not sorry i can't in. i can't think i can't it's too loud um this was the huevos rancheros one um 
the breakfast microwavable thing that I showed you guys a little while earlier. It's really good um, and I like to add like hot sauce because it's got a little bit of spice to it but to even up it a little bit more, put some hot sauce on that thing. Uh, I just uploaded a new post on my blog. So you guys, you can see here my upcoming events for 2018. I've got so much going on already and it's not even 2018 yet so i wanted to quickly take you guys through this really fast in case you haven't seen it yet but yeah so the first trip that i'm doing is in uh new york in january it's like the first week of january and i will be speaking at the brown girls love power day that is my girl christina if you don't know christina she's amazing she's had her blog for years and has really done amazing things with Love Brown Sugar. So um, I'm super excited to join her and some other amazing women at this event. It's kind of like a conference type of deal. So I added this video here of their recap from last year so you guys can see what it kind of, um, what it looks like and what you can anticipate if you are interested in attending. Then I will be in Morocco in February in Marrakesh, which I am so, so, so geeked about because I have never been to Africa and it will be my first time visiting the motherland. So I am geeked about it and I will be attending with The Colored Girl. They are a agency that creates really dynamic um, and diverse content for different brands and organizations. And the uh, trip is called Imara. And it's basically a really amazing curated experience in Marrakesh at this really beautiful boutique hotel. I added a little video here uh, which shows you guys the hotel um, in more like, you know, video and photos of it. But also, if you want more information, everything is at this link right here uh, with the schedule, the list of other women that are going to be there, which, you know what, let's click on it. Let's see who else is going to be there because it's some heavy hitters y'all so this is the website and here is who you can expect to be there yes y'all yes y'all it's going to be everything 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 i mean just look at the lineup look at that dynamics of all of these different women there's me <laughs> that will be in attendance and it's going to be very intimate and um, very thought out and experiential so yeah it's going to be a really really awesome experience she is actually the owner of the boutique hotel and um, an artist so she's I know she's really well known for a lot of things um, I haven't been able to dive in too much into her career but I've just heard amazing things about her um, so yeah she is the owner and they are partnering with her um for the boutique hotel so yeah um this is just more information about it and then it also includes all these different things um and depending on what package you buy uh depends on how much you pay and stuff like that and like how many people come and whatnot so yeah that is the is the amara trip in february then I will be in Paris and London, you guys. Paris and London. I'll be there in March 2018 at the end of the month. I'll be there for like a week. So I'm still planning this trip. I don't know what exactly I'm doing yet. Um, but if you guys have any ideas or want me to do an event or put something together, let me know because international meetups are really difficult, especially when you don't know and you're the area and you're not familiar. So... Um, the more planning in advance I can do, the better. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in doing something in either one of these locations. And then my Philippines trip that I told you guys about last week um, on my video, I'll be hosting a group trip um, to the Philippines. It'll be a cap. Um, I think the cap is is... It's going to be amazing. We're going to do tons of stuff. We'll be volunteering. We'll be hiking. We'll be island hopping. I mean, it's just going to be a bomb experience. And so this is a little video I found on YouTube of just a kind of a quick and easy look at what 
this area even looks like because I know a lot of people probably aren't familiar with the Philippines and what it has to offer. So I thought this was a quick, good little quick video to show you guys what the location actually looks like. And yeah, that's it so far. Um, like I said, lots going on, but I hope to see you guys at something here. And again, I will obviously have this up on my blog, on my website, and then I'll link this down below as well for you guys. And the plan for today is to get dressed in a little while. I have to take some photos for a project I'm doing with CoverGirl. You guys know I work with CoverGirl for, I've worked with them like the past year and a half, maybe two years now on creating content. Um, and I just love working with them. So I'm creating some stuff for them. And so I've got to shoot that today, this morning. It's about 9.30 right now. Um, I've been up probably since about seven. I'm on this weird schedule of like waking up at like 6.30, 7 o'clock every day. And I've never been like that. I'm so not a morning person, but lately I've been in a morning mood. I don't know. But anyway, so I've got to do that. And then I've got a um, event to go to during the day. So Refinery29, their 29 rooms here in LA is opening, I think this week. And today is like the time where they've allowed influencers to come in before it opens to kind of check out the space and all that kind of stuff. It's supposed to be super, super, super cool. I've never been before. So I'll take you guys with me in that experience as well. And then I'm potentially gonna have dinner with my friend later on tonight, we'll see. Um, I know she's traveling today so um we'll see if she's up for it still but yeah and then i go home tomorrow so this week is already almost done i feel like every time literally i feel like every time i come to la it's a whirlwind like i'm here and then i'm gone like that <laughs> every time but yeah um yeah i'll talk to you guys in a few missy thank you for reminding me that i need to be yes, vlogging girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to walk into refinery 29's 29 rooms Speculative Afro-feminism. I've never even heard of this before. Hello. Welcome to Brooks. Who are you talking to? Cosmetology lab. I'm what? reading the. Y'all, look around. You're in space. You can actually see something. Yes. I'm oh. in space. Oh my God. I can see like under me and above me. Why am I tripping right now? Like that's a little scary. This is crazy. I can. I'm literally like looking around, like as if I'm by myself in the universe. This is crazy. Hello. Hello. Oh, we can write our representatives with these postcards. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. Write our what? Uh, write our con or our senators and representatives oh. with these postcards. <laughs> yes. When you're woke and you can slay. This is this is the type of things you do. Okay. All this art. Look at Mackenzie. Mackenzie Renee. Hey, girl. A trembling indigo morning that I worship when everyone is looking. Oh, universe. If I cannot manifest this existence, let this sleep be an endless one. Let me lead a life in any realm that allows me to show up as myself. I have spent my life living as a ghost in the shell of a woman. In reverie, I exist in a space where I am present in my own body and here. It does not belong to anyone but me, this body an erasure poem void of the praise i would not give it is now a place it's 